Hey guys, I'm MJ and what I want to do in these videos is just read through the Bible and discuss it very briefly, roughly for around five minutes. So I think it's customary that we start in Genesis, although maybe I'm biting off a little bit more than I can chew for Genesis. is quite a tough book, but we're going to start and hopefully I don't make a complete mess of this. Um, the first verse though is pretty easy. It's I think it's only when we start getting into verse 2 that things start getting a little bit um, a little bit crazy. But let's start with verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And what I'm reading through is a PDF Bible that fortunately came with a whole bunch of notes. And they've given a note on the word beginning, on God, on created, and on heavens and earth. So we're going to be talking through these four things. And what I love so much about this verse is the way it says, in the beginning. Um, you know, for a long time, scientists had the view that we existed in a constant universe. It was only until a Catholic priest came up with the idea of the cosmic egg, which he believed that the universe had a beginning. Uh, people would mock him, and that's where the name Big Bang came from. But we look at this Catholic priest, and he was probably reading Genesis, and he reads this in the beginning, and he probably thought, hey, maybe maybe the, the universe has a beginning from a scientific point of view. And we'll learn later that he will use light to see that uh, it was giving out a red light, which shows that it's a longer wavelength, that things are moving away, and that's how they were able to build this whole theory that the universe um, started at a singular point. So that's what I really like about this verse is, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It does coincide with science. Like I say, the next few verses don't coincide with science. So that's where things do get a little bit more uh, trickier to, to discuss. But here we've got, in the beginning, um, and, and what I love about this is that not only is it the beginning of the universe, but it's like the beginning of time. It is the start. And we see who's at the start. We're seeing the main character of the Bible, um, God. And what is he doing? He's doing what he does best. He's creating. And what is he creating? He's creating the heavens and the earth. So let's look at this word God. So what, we, what we've got in this little Bible thing here is they, they're giving me the, the Hebrew names. And I'm terrible with pronounce, <laughs> pronouncing uh, Hebrew. But they're using a word Elohim, which is a plural form, which of course creates a little bit of a contradiction. You know, uh, isn't there just the one true God? And here we're using a plural word to describe God. Um, Christians will point to the fact that, oh look, the Trinity is, is present right in the beginning. Um, whereas people you know, from Judaism will say, no, we use the plural word to, to just, you know, indicate majesty. You know, God is, God is so amazing and great that we're going to use the plural word. Uh, he's the God of gods. Um, then, very interestingly, we come across this word created, which also using the Hebrew word, it's, it's a different verb that they use for when God creates um, humankind. And they say that this is, you know, it's, it's more of the, the word kind of means fashioning something new, fresh and perfect, but it does not necessarily describe creating something out of nothing, which is what we do see with mankind. And for those of you who are very interested in you know, cosmology and, and how the universe came about, that can provoke quite a few discussions. You know, was there some dark matter lying around and God comes in there and he shapes and he molds it and he puts it all together? Um, or is he creating the matter uh, with his voice and just, you know, throwing everything into existence. And finally, we see um, the heavens and the earth. And this can be known as a, something known as a memorism. Um, memorism is when you use a group of words to describe a singular thing. So in here, the, the singular thing could be the universe. So heavens and the earth could describe the universe. Um, just like how you say, you know, we searched high and low is a memorism for saying you searched everywhere. So we could be seeing that type of language being used here. Um, or, I mean, some people have interpreted as, as heavens as the spiritual realm and earth as the physical realm. Um, there's others who see heavens as the sky and earth as the land. 
And I think that's what makes Genesis so so fascinating as, as a book, is that there are these various ways to interpret it, and we'll see different theologians will construct different narratives uh, and interpret different verses in different ways in order to support uh, whatever narrative that they're, they're putting forward. But what is cool here is we are seeing that God uh, created the heavens and the earth and that there was a beginning, and that is something that coincides with, uh, with science, that the universe did have a start and we didn't have this constant universe how it was believed for, for I don't know how long. Um, but yeah, that is the nice, easy introduction verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Um, if there's any reason why we should worship God, well, we're kind of seeing how awesome and powerful he is. Uh, we can look around at this beautiful place that he's created and just say, wow, you know, this, this is amazing. Uh, but we are going to learn more about God later on in Genesis, and I'm getting, you know, I'm looking forward to to getting in depth with that, uh, because verse two, uh, which we're going to be doing in the next video, gets very interesting, where it says, "Now the earth was without shape and empty, and darkness was all over the surface of the watery deep, but the spirit of God was moving over the surface of the water." But we're going to be diving into that in the next video, so make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you for that video. Thanks, guys. Cheers.